Tonight on The Prophet, I head to South Carolina to get a real taste of good old-fashioned barbecue. If the fat ain't dripping on the coal, it's not barbecue. A mom and pop operation has quickly grown into a million dollar business. You're almost doing a million dollars a year. We're beyond. You ain't so mom and pop anymore. They are struggling to keep up. We've grown faster than we ever imagined we would grow, and we have not caught up with ourselves. This is overwhelming. Authentic down home cooking never goes out of style. Mom always told us whatever we do, we do it our best. If I can stabilize this business, we're not charging enough. There's big money to be made. This meal is amazing. These ribs are ridiculous. <laughs> Schuler's Barbecue smells of great comfort food, and the place is jammed. Hi. How are you, I'm Marcus? Lynn Hughes. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Are you Norton? I am Norton. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. What a great place. Thank, Thank you. you. There's some people in here. Yeah. How much is uh, lunch? $8.95. And dinner? $12.70 for an adult. Plus tax. All you can eat. $13.95. Yeah, that includes drinks and dessert. And I mean, that's a heck of a deal. This is Lynn's World. What is in Lynn's World? Uh, we make the biscuits, the desserts. I grew up, my mom catered. And um, mom always told us whatever we do, we do it at our, at our best. So People come seven... from far and wide to get these biscuits? They do. We can't keep biscuits on the buffet. No, I love it. Oh, good. Great. These biscuits are amazing. I can see why they fly off the buffet. This may be the thing that I could take national. This, this is the pit. I'm an old purist. We believe if the fat ain't dripping on the coal, it's not barbecue. OK. And so the ribs are in here? <laughs> There's nothing better. You're proud yeah. of that, aren't you? Yes, sir. There's nothing better. You're going to have some tonight, right? I'm going to have some. How profitable is the business today? It'll run 12 to 15%. This year, we shouldn't have a problem doing a million dollars. So the business will make 120 to 150,000? Yeah. You know, we're still mom and pop. We actually don't pay ourselves a salary. We would love to get set up that we can afford to pay a manager because this is overwhelming. My brother-in-law, Yule, has stepped in, and it's just been a joy having him here. Yule has been in managerial positions. Okay. He is a genius with marketing. He's been working with us on that, and we've just seen a continual growth. How you doing? I'm Marcus. Marcus Yule. Good to nice see you. Nice to meet you. Hi, Jenny. Jenny, nice to meet you. We see a gold mine here. And for Marco, this is like, this is Nirvana. You know, this is, it's a lot of fun. So I started playing with their Facebook page. The word of mouth is spreading faster than they can handle the growth. But why do we need more PR? We have a line out the door. What are your food costs today? Do you know as a percentage? 41, 42%. Now, 41 is what the food people tell us 41 is good. The people that sell you the food can uh, tell you that. What? This would be Schuler. Are you the boss? That's the boss. I'm Marcus. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Did you know that you and I have something in common? We're both adopted. Hello. <laughs> Do you know how lucky you are? Yeah, I know how lucky I am. He, he is our life. We spent a long time waiting for that little fella. <laughs> the real goal is to be able to build a beautiful business for your son. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this business is us, and we are been part of it. What I'm really buying into is the potential of what's there. So my vision really is to have it feel like a real destination. I want to build a general store, putting products in that general store that are within our scope. And so I'm willing to put up a half a million dollars into the business. And we'll use that half a million dollars to have working capital, to build out the general mm -hmm. store, mm -hmm. to build a deck along the back mm -hmm. so that we can have overflow seating. I'm going to want 40% of the business. In addition to that, I want the distribution rights for the biscuits. I want to get that thing in as many grocery stores yeah. as I can, as fast as I can, because I think the biscuit is actually the money maker. Can I have about two minutes with her outside the door just a second? OK. No. You know, it's a big leap for my wife and I to come back. Mm -hmm. I, I keep going back to it. it makes sense for us. It's got to. We know where our salaries are together. And how much is that? It's over 200. Wait a second. But now he's asking for a salary of $200,000? Didn't see that coming. It was always hard giving a percentage of something you built. God said, I'll take care of you. And Jenny and you'll keep him home. All right, let's go for it. All right. We have a deal. We got a deal. All right, let's start calculating it. 
So two pieces of chicken. About 37 cents a piece, not counting frying it. So 40 cents a piece, so that's 80 cents. 30 cents for the corn. Biscuits are six cents a piece. OK, so that's 12 cents. 83 cents for the barbecue. $1.50 for the vegetables. 10 cents for the tea. Okay. 75 cents for the desserts. And what's that equal? 440. 440. How many times will people go back? Average one and a half. Yeah. Even if I took one and a quarter, so five dollars and fifty cents. How much do you charge for this? Eight ninety-five for lunch. So your food costs are actually closer to sixty-one percent. I think you're gonna find out dinner's even worse. You need one person in this business managing food costs. What do you think? You'll. We need somebody that is a has a vested interest in the business that wants to see it succeed, that gets the margins right, and that's keeping you guys on point. I know that Lynn and Norton want Yule to be part of this business. And I feel like I've given them plenty of opportunities. But I haven't seen them do a thing, except talk about marketing strategies. Hi, this is Katie. Kenny. Hey, Liz. So nice, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, too. Uh, I just wanted him to come down and spend some time. OK, with that sounds good. So the self-rising, we used all-purpose flour. A lot of people use shortening. We're going to go with butter this time. You know, it is a family recipe. My grandfather used to always say to me, if you're not changing, you're stuck. And if you're stuck, yeah. you're not going forward. The bones of your biscuit? are fantastic. So I think what we need to do is continue to work on the recipe and come up with something that works for both. <laughs> so what part do we like? We like ribs. How much do we use a year in ribs? 25,000 pounds. 25,000 pounds a, a year? And what do we pay a pound today? 389, 398 in that range. I'm thinking that number needs to be much lower. Yeah. 265. 265 a pound mm -hmm. for the ribs? Mm -hmm. This is why it's important for Norton to constantly be monitoring his food prices. In a matter of hours, we saved tens of thousands of dollars. I feel like you're waiting for me to give you no, something no, to no, do. No, no, no. What we're doing, we, we, it, we're trying to help them create opportunities. We being? My wife and I. Okay. And, and we want to do the outreach to build the business. Don't you think they need help in the business, not out of the business? I understand where you're going. Well, I'm Which not trying going. to go yeah. anywhere. Yeah. But I'm not seeing you helping them put food out or clean up. I'm a PR guy. Just doing that simple Facebook thing boosted their business. They only have 3,000 likes on Facebook. I've been doing all the social media. Please don't say Facebook in... to me again. Yeah. Please, I could get Schuler to do Facebook. All right. What That's if I suggested to them that you be the manager here and you'd be in charge? I think they need a leader here. I think that leader would be good if it was you. OK. He's wanting to see me all the time running around working, cleaning and busting the tables, which. Well, that's not what I said. Well, in so many words. No, not, don't, I don't want to do so many words. I want to do what the words really were. All right, sit down. Goodbye, kind of let's sit down. I'd like you to be involved. There's right? no doubt I want to be involved. So then let's go, let's get to work. It'd be a good idea to have you general manage the place. Okay. And that means that you have to be responsible for the staff, the kitchen, the food costs. Somebody has to relieve them of the burden. I'll do that. I agree with you 100% and being all in. From this point forward, the success or failure of this place is not only on the three of us, but it involves you as well. OK. OK. All right, let's go to work. Wow. <laughs> it is amazing. I love this. It's fun. Now. You do? Mm -hmm. And then I wanted you to see what the packaging would actually look like on the shelf. Oh, neat. There's a couple different versions. Home style and southern. This is actually an important thing. Born at yeah. Shula's Shula's Barbecue. Shula's Barbecue. I know you had some hesitations at first, and recipe changing, and I'm glad that you trusted the process. We can't meet with you. He's not here. When we sat around the table downstairs, he said, all right, I'm in. And so I, I felt like we were heading in the right direction. I, I, I don't know. I don't think he really wants to get back in the kitchen and roll the sleeves up. Well, he's a PR person, and he's great at what he does. And he he's not clean that great at what he does, by the way. Oh, well. He just posts some things on Facebook. Lynn and Norton, as you know, over the past year, in addition to the pro bono work that I've been doing for you, I didn't know you had to qualify for pro bono work. My time has become and will remain much more limited and unpredictable. Uh, OK. It's better that you learn now. Oh, yeah. Than having them sell their house and them get here and, and it not work. work out. I know, I know. All right? Look at this. How you like it? This looks unbelievable. It is, it is massive. I didn't think it was going to go out this far. We just kept going. Unreal. Look at this. It brings out the whole restaurant. The good news about this business is that the story has been great, but it's not over. We're breaking ground on a brand new building. 
that'll have a general store and an expanded bake shop for Lim. And doing this to leave something sustainable for little Schuler to take over one day has a special meaning to me. You were very comfortable with a stranger coming into your business and suggesting and forcing changes. It amazes me what we have built, and it overwhelms me to realize where we're going. This is a place that I can come and be myself and be with people that I enjoy and I trust. I now feel like I'm part of your family. And we're glad to about. have you in the family. Thank you. <laughs> you. You're part of the family. You're going to go with us and have fun. I now believe this is the best barbecue in the United States. Oh, great. Thank you. It is. <laughs> it is.